I have not received any shipping label, but have received the package. I am so glad that it's the weekend now. It has been a crazy week with some crazy people. So before I get started on that clip that you just saw, um, I went to Walmart today and I looked at some cool stuff. So I'm going to kind of show you what I found at Walmart. Oh my God. <laughs> Look what I found at Walmart. And I'm not even looking for this. <laughs> oh, it's mermaids. Oh my gosh. I've hit the jackpot today. One more. One more. One more. Check this out. There you go. There's a tell for you, Robin. Love ya. <laughs> Love you, Robin. <laughs> oh, it's so much fun to play games on YouTube. <laughs> Especially after Robin edited my oh crap clip from my last video. That was pretty funny. I will seriously have to send you some of my bloopers. I wanted to do a blooper reel of myself. Um, I don't know if I can edit as good as you edit videos. So, um, so anyway, the first thing I wanted to talk about is some crazy customers. Um, one was my customer that I've been dealing with and um, the other was just a customer that I saw today. I didn't quite catch all of the footage, but yeah, it's just been a weird week. Um, so the first customer is a customer I dealt with. You know, my last video I talked about how I screwed up and I swapped two different orders for each other. So the the customer that ordered the ashtray received a Dr. Nefario um, figure and then that person received the ashtray. So I proactively reached out to the person that ordered the minion figure and I told them that the package was going to come and it was going to be the wrong one. I proactively tried to take care of it and told them, you know, asked them if it was okay um, if I sent them um, a shipping label so they could just forward it to the other customer. And they acted like that they were okay with that. And then I um, talked to the other customer and I had to reach out to him a second time, but he, he was more than okay with that. And he said that he would definitely do that. So the next day mm. I, let's see, that was Wednesday. Um, Wednesday morning, I um, went into eBay and I did shipping labels and I wasn't sure, I probably did this totally wrong. I, I'm assuming eBay probably wants you to have the items shipped back to you. And I didn't do that. I don't, I don't know. I was trying to, you know, make it a little bit quicker of, um, shipping for both of them because they both seem to want to wait for their item. So I, when I, um, did the shipping label, the shipping label save as a PDF and you cannot attach a PDF to eBay messaging. I don't know if there's any way to get around that, but I ended up converting it to an image. Like I, I just made the PDF an image. So I sent both of them the labels for the shipping of both items. And I confirmed with the guests that ordered the ashtray, I confirmed with him that he did receive the label and he's like, absolutely, you know, I will forward this tomorrow. Um, I don't know if he got it in the mail yesterday or not. Um, when I looked at tracking, he hadn't shipped it yet, but I know that USPS doesn't always scan the items in right away. 
But he was great, and he's like, I really appreciate your customer service. And um, he's like, no worries, you know, because I keep apologizing. You know, I admitted it was my mistake. And right now on eBay, I have 100% positive feedback. Well, last night, I still hadn't heard back from the other person yet. So last night, when I was sitting there, um, I sent them another message asking them if um, they had received the message with the label. Well, let me mm -hmm. read to you what they said. So the first message, they said, I have not received any shipping label, but have received the package. This has been bullshit. Trying to send you a message, not cool. What are you talking about? I sent it to you through eBay messaging. I sent the attachment through eBay messaging. I didn't know what they were talking about. So, you know, I'm trying to fix the situation, you know, as best as I could. I did check and they have a Hotmail account. Who has a Hotmail account anymore? Like, I know some people do, but I know that a lot of stuff in Hotmail, when I used to have a Hotmail account, stuff would end up going to spam all the time. So that's what I'm wondering. So anyway, I replied to them and I said, I'm trying this again. Please let me know if it comes through this time. Also, I'm going to email you a copy in case this attachment doesn't work. So we're not supposed to do any communications outside of eBay. So I was trying to, you know, I just wanted to send them a copy like PDF. So I did email them a PDF copy. I don't know if they ever got it or not, but here was their reply. What the fuck am I to do with a stupid picture of a label? I am just going to put return to sender on this package. Okay. So I'm a people pleaser and that message upset me because the whole time, especially if I have to get eBay involved, hopefully eBay can see that I'm trying to rectify this situation. But me being a people pleaser, that upset me. And so... Last night, I was super upset, and luckily mm -hmm. I went and uh, watched Robin's Because She Sheds live show, and I forgot all my worries after that, but yeah, I was, I was really upset because I am a people pleaser. I want to take care of you. You know, I pride myself in customer service, and I know that I cannot make every single person happy. So this really upset me. Um, I'm just, a, I just get very passionate about the work that I do. I've always been that way. I pour my heart out into things and I wear my emotions, you know, all over me. So, um, but I replied and I basically, um, I asked them to not, please not cuss at me. I'm human. And I made a mistake and I'm trying to fix it. So at this point, I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know if they're going to just return to sender. I don't know if they got my email. I haven't. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. They never replied to my email of sending them the label. So I don't know. So I'm really worried like they're going to end up getting their figure and then my other customer is going to get screwed. So you know, and I also offered them a discount because I messed up. I paid for the shipping again, and I also offered each of them a three dollar um, re refund on their purchase for the trouble that they had to go through. This is a four dollar minion figure that they paid a little bit under four dollars, so they paid less than eight dollars for this figure, and they're like blowing smoke out their ears. It's just ridiculous the way that people get so upset about things. You know, it's it's like, calm down. I'm trying to fix this. You know, I have 100% feedback. So um, I don't know. I'm going to be upset if they leave me negative feedback. But at this point, I'm expecting them to do just because they're a-holes. So um the other customer was not my customer, but today I went to the cable company and I was standing in line and I, cause I, 
you know, I pay my bills through work. I pay my work bills. And Sudden Link, apparently Sudden Link got bought out by Altice. And the way that I have stuff set up in our system is um, the check prints with the billing address. Well, we usually, the way we mail it is, you know, with the business envelopes that have the mailing address on it. I didn't know their mailing address had changed because I never used the little slip. So apparently their mailing address changed. And last month, the uh, payment showed up really, really late. And I thought maybe it got lost in the mail. And um, so the customer service rep was really nice. And he said he would take off that late fee and everything. Well, this time, this month, it got returned to sender because it was a P.O. box in Ohio. And now it goes to a P.O. box, I think, in Pennsylvania. So, um, yeah. So I went up to Suddenlink today and I was the first person in line. I was the first person to be next. And there was an older man up at the counter and he was mad because his bill... Um, he had turned in some equipment or something. I kind of caught the end of it when I walked in. He turned in some equipment. He was mad because he was overcharged. And the poor girl, she was trying to explain to him, we're a mm -hmm. retail store. We can take your payment. We can, you know, they can take um, equipment. They can, you know, turn it in there or they can get equipment there. But as far as any billing, they're not allowed to change anything on that billing they are not authorized to do that so the poor girl was trying to explain to this man and this man was getting more and more upset he was being very rude to her and working in the retail industry you know even like us resellers on ebay and stuff people just they have no respect for you and it's just really sad the way that people treat other people um, I never want to be that way. I always want to be very respectful, even when I go into restaurants and I get crappy service. Maybe that person had a bad day. You know, I may get upset a little bit, which is normal, but I'm not going to treat them like they're not human. So this man was yelling at this girl and she was waiting for her manager to come out and her manager came out and I started recording it. I'll show you a little bit of it. It doesn't really capture what happened because I caught the tail end of it when I started recording it on my phone. But the manager tried to explain the same thing to him. And of course, this man is like, I'm not moving. I'm going to stay in this spot right here. Blah, blah, blah. You know, I'm going to bring the police in and I'm going to bring the news media back with me. And it was just silly. And, um, then the manager, he's like, are you really going to make me call the police on you? And the man's like, well, you do what you have to do, basically. So I didn't capture any of that because I hit record too late. But he was standing there like I was literally standing there with them. I won't show you all of that because it's really boring. They were standing there at the computer and I didn't know what they were doing, but I figured out somehow they notified the police to come in and they had to have the man escorted out of the building. You can't do anything here. What um, is this is a retail office. So we do not do you anything. You don't do service, you don't do anything. Yes, we sell bill accounts. We take payments. Well, I wanted, I wanted to make a payment. We can take your payment. But the bill on here we is can't not correct. correct. We can't correct your bill. We can take your payment and we cannot correct your bill. Yeah, I try to talk to this. box. Well, yeah, I mean, just have a customer refusing to leave the store. Just go on.
Well, let's go outside and talk about this for a second. Because he just stood there. It was, it was like 10 minutes he was there and then the police came. So I was waiting in line and then, you know, as this was going on, mm. the store was full of people. I was waiting in the billing line and the other people were waiting in the equipment line. And it's, it was just dumb. I just don't understand people. I mean, I understand you get frustrated with 1-800 numbers, but those poor people, they're telling you they cannot do anything for you. So anyway, that is my rant. Um, it's just sad. So I wanted to go over the items that I um, sold last week. So this would be the, probably the 20, let's see, I'm looking. I'm looking because I'm not prepared. Um, the last one I did was the Carnival Glass. So this would be from the 26th until the 31st. So kind of, you know, weekend to weekend or whatever. I didn't sell all that much last week. I'm still, I need to list some more. I haven't really listed all that much this week. I've been kind of tired and lazy. Probably the weather. So the first item here that I sold was this two pack Batgirl one piece um, baby, baby outfit. And I've told you guys in previous video, I bought a bunch of these at Walmart. So I, this one I paid up for, paid four bucks for, it's not the greatest. Um, I should have only done the $2 clearance ones. I did some $4 ones cause I got excited. And so I'm not really making a whole lot. I'm making 50%, 54% profit is what I'm making. So I pay four, I make two. So I made $2.34 on that one. So this next item here is a, a, a I almost said another again, another uh, scrub top. So I sell quite a bit of those. This is a Koi blue and brown scrub top, paid a quarter at my local thrift store. It sold for $10.95. I made $5.75 off this flip. This next item here is a J. Crew navy blue. It was like a crochet style eyelet dress, more of a summer dress. Um, bought this a long time ago when I first started thrifting a year ago. So it took almost a year to sell. Would I do it again? No. This is when I first started buying clothes. I paid too much for them. So I bought this mm -hmm. at Goodwill. Their dresses are $5. So I ended up paying $5 for this dress. I did sell it for 20 bucks, which I think it was, you'll see it on the screen, but I think it was $20 free shipping. So I made $7.80 off of it. I mean, it's not a bad flip, but J. Crew, it took a year to sell that dress. This next item here is a vintage metal ashtray, um, Las Vegas ashtray. This item I bought in one of the auction lots. I broke it down to paying about $1.54 for it. I sold it after shipping for eleven oh five. dollars I think I took a best offer for it. And I made $4.78 on this ashtray. <laughs> oh wait, I didn't make $4.78 on this ashtray because I screwed up. So I would have made $4.78 on this ashtray. So this next item here is a um, James, well, I don't know if it's that, so I don't wanna say that, but it's a Fox Racing jersey um, for motocross. I bought it for a quarter at the thrift store at my quarterly, quarterly, quarter, whatever, so. Bought it for a quarter, um, took a best offer, so total $42.50 on this jersey. Jersey, jersey, $42.50 on this jersey. I do believe I took a best offer. I think it's vintage 90s. Really cool find. Um, my whole family's been in a motocross, so I know um, those things when I see them. And I made $33 on this jersey I paid a quarter for. So that was a really cool find. This next item here is from the Triggered Customer. 
it's a Despicable Me, I think I said Minions earlier, but it's Despicable Me Dr. Nefario figure. Um, it's It was from that um, bag of toys I bought for $5. And I sold it after shipping for about eight bucks. And I would have made $3.70 on this item had I not messed it up. So then this last item here are some ladies minion slippers. These I actually sent in Amazon last year. They were a customer return. I think somebody ordered them for a guy for Christmas. So they were a customer return. So I had them sent back to me. And so after it was all said and done, I'm sure I didn't make any money. But I paid five bucks on clearance at Walmart for these slippers. And I sold them after shipping for $12.20. So my profit on these would have been 97 cents. So obviously I probably took a loss on this because they were originally listed for Amazon and then they were returned and refunded. So yeah, probably didn't make any money off that. So that is it for today. I'm so glad it's the weekend, guys. And I appreciate every one of you. If you have not hit that subscribe button yet, please hit that subscribe button to support me. And I will see you next time.